Skoda's first purpose-built EV comes in four broad flavors, 60, 80, 80X and now VIS. The Enyaq 460 has a 58 kilowatt hour battery and the pricier 80 badged models have a 77 kilowatt hour battery and net. Everything without an X in its name is a single motor, rear wheel drive car, while the 80X has a more powerful dual motor setup and four wheel drive. You're looking at between 246 and 339 miles of official WLTP range, which is excellent for the money. The 80 gets 201 brake horsepower and the 60 gets 177 brake horsepower, but there's only 0.2 seconds between their 0 to 62 miles per hour times and they both have 229 pounds feet of torque. Oh, and the cars charge at a max rate of 120 and 135 kilowatts respectively. The 80X develops a perky 261 brake horsepower, not that you'll be deploying that power too often unless you want to see your remaining range plummet. Top of the tree is the flagship VIS, which gets a similar dual motor, four-wheel drive setup to the 80X, but outputs 295 brake horsepower and 339 pounds-feet of torque. That results in a 0 to 62 miles per hour time of 6.5 seconds and a top speed of 111 miles per hour 12 miles per hour faster than any of the other Enyaq models and a claimed range of up to 321 miles. Full details over on the driving tab. The Skoda looks and feels conventional, you wouldn't mistake an ID.4 for a normal car, but you might an Enyaq, which will please as many people as it disappoints. And there are surely few easier introductions to electric cars than this. Civilized to drive, comfortable enough to ride in, though it does get a little jiggly over uneven surfaces, and commendably quick whatever spec you go for. Though we'd suggest avoiding the VIS, which doesn't quite live up to its billing.